Okay, in this section of videos, we are going to take a look at the modify tools, and there's a number of them. Uh, everything from pressing and pulling or tweaking an object to splitting the object into different pieces, as well as hollowing it out. So we'll see how much we can get done in this first video, and I'll, I'll break it up if uh, we need to. So first thing I'm going to do is bring in a primitive, a, a box, and uh, once again, just as a review, when you bring in a box or any other object, at the bottom of the screen, you are prompted before you set it down. So while you're still in this mode of being able to move it around, uh, well, before you set it down, you have the option to change the numbers down there. And I'm just changing the numbers on the keyboard and hitting tab to go to each field. And so I'm just going to create a 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter box and then click. And now that confirms that box. So here are the different modify tools. Uh, the first one is press and pull. If you click on that, you can click on any side, any any face, basically. Um, and when you click on it, the, you're prompted with an arrow to pull up. Or, in this case, pull out. Okay. The next modify tool is called tweak. And the way tweak works is you can uh, adjust a face or a an edge or actually a point. It's it's really interesting because the instructions here or the guide here says distort or skew part of a face or edge of a solid. So this being the face and this being the edge. But you can also do, it doesn't say it in there, but you could also do a corner. So uh, let's look at, for example, an, an edge. If I click here, it confirms that that's the edge that I want to modify. And then you'll notice that looking at the uh, the rotating guides and the arrows, this tells us what direction do you want to pull the edge towards. So I might, for example, change the rotation this way and then pull the edge out like this. Okay, so you can start to, to see that in terms of reshaping or creating an object, you could really Given the right tools, such as these, you can do just about anything. I can even skew this out this way if I wanted to. Right? So it's pretty, pretty powerful. And that's Tweak. The third tool in our list of Modify tools is called Split Face. And the way Split Face works, uh, here, here's something I, I just tried out this morning that I thought would be a good um, example of why you would want to use a split face. Split face actually allows you to take uh, the face of an object, divide it into two different pieces, and then do something different with each of those pieces. So, for example, here we have the face of this this new object that we've created, and I can take a polyline, and on the face itself, notice when I hover over the face, it the 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 work plane, the grid changes to that face itself. So I can click and then I'm going to pick a spot here, click once, and it might be hard for you to see on the screen, but I'm just creating a simple cut on the face and I'm going to confirm it. So now I have this face with a cutting plane above it and so or on top of it. And so what I'm going to do is take that split face tool it's going to, again, present me with two different things. It wants to know the face to split, so we're going to pick that one. And then it's going to want to know the splitting entity. What is the object that's going to cut it? And we're going to say it's that one. And it brings this up, which is basically saying, here's a preview of what you're about to cut. Okay? I hit return on my keyboard, and that confirms it. And now what happens is, uh, I'm actually, I've got two different areas on this plane. Here it is. Uh, the plane is now divided into two different areas. And so I can take this one particular plane, and let's say that I want to move it up or pull it. Um, I could even, I think, let's see, and try and select it well. There it is. Let's see what happens when I tweak this upwards. Okay. So now I've created an entirely different shape. Than I, what, than I had before, and it, it wouldn't have been possible without splitting that face on the top. And notice inside I still have these, the remnants of the initial guide, and I can click on each of these pieces and just delete them. But now I have 
uh, an entirely new new shape.